how do you greet your guests today? And how do you make sure that from a legal perspective, you are able to share important documents and questionnaires and make them fill them out? Wouldn't it be great to go beyond just having a regular piece of paper when somebody has to get a pen, write and ask for a signature? What about a uh, nice platform that you can have on an iPad that allows the guests to come in, specify the reason for their visit. It might be delivery, interview, visitor, and then to go through a series of questions. Who they are, what's their phone number, any sort of relevant information, NDAs, COVID questionnaires, etc. This is where Vercada Guest comes in to help. A lot of my videos so far focused on the security aspects of the solution. However, today I wanted to take some time to give you a platform demo of Guest to just give you an idea on how that can help you manage your visitor flows. And I'm going to be making a separate video where I'm going to get a blank iPad and install Guest to actually show you how easy it is for you to do it. And the best part is that if you actually find this video useful, even if you're not a Vercada customer, you will be able to just subscribe, create an organization at command.vercada.com and automatically enable a 60-day guest trial. So with that, let's hop on into command and I'll show you a few of the cool features and functionalities. This is one of the guest sites we have deployed in our worldwide organization here at Vercada. And the first thing that you will see is the ability to select a particular date and find out more information about who was in the building at that particular time. You get a high level understanding of who the visitor was, who they were here to see, time of check-in, time of check-out if they signed out, and also the reason for their visit. What's also obvious is the integration not only across cameras, because you can have up to four cameras virtually tied to a lobby, giving you historical footage at the time of sign-in, uh, but also with access control, with the receptionist being able to unlock doors just to make their life easier. We can actually go beyond that, and for certain guest types, even allow them to open certain doors without even utilizing an app. They don't need an app. They don't need a user account. All they get presented is with a hot link that will allow them to enter a certain area. And this actually is great because even if you're using a modern system of guest management, it will most likely not be able to integrate with CCTV and access control. But more about that later. Clicking on a guest, let's pick on Amar here. I can get the historical footage from check-in. I get a picture of his face. So this is taken by the tablet at check-in. And is also used across all the cameras that have face search turned on. Because if you can imagine, the picture that somebody does while standing very close to an iPad can very accurately be used in those sort of scenarios. So at any given time, if you have any issues with a guest, as long as face search is turned on across your premises, you'll actually be able to trace back their steps, see where they went, who they saw, etc. So let's talk more about guest types because if you think about this, somebody delivering a parcel might not have been here before, they don't know who they're here to see, somebody at reception would most likely need to get involved uh, and you most likely don't really want to collect information about them or get them to sign an NDA. While on the other hand, if you have somebody who comes for an interview or a contractor, you might actually want to go deeper and ask for that information and even provide some with welcome messages and emails. And this is where guest types come into use. And the way that we uh, get that is by going inside the guest settings, select the guest types here and manage them either at the global level, so that's across all sites, or specifically for each site. So I'm just gonna pick one at random and you'll actually see you have a detailed workflow asking you what is the name, which obviously will actually appear on the tablet here. Any badge print settings, so what you actually want uh, to be printed onto the badge. 
what contact information do you require? Certain background checks as we actually work across multiple uh, databases, an ability for them to choose their host. So this is where you would uh, be able to upload hosts or use Skim to automatically import everybody who works in your company. So they become part of a dropdown that they can select. Any documents, open responses, that might be something like, uh, did you drove with a car here? What's your car registration number? A photo and also other guest instructions. So that might be in use because you might want, for example, to communicate the Wi-Fi guest password. This is where you'll actually be able to allow uh, guests to unlock certain doors and they'll actually be able to do so only on the day of the check-in during the hours that you give them. Just to reiterate, they won't need to set up an account. They won't need to download an application. This will actually be served as a hot link on a welcome page that will contain that and other useful information. Other few important uh, things besides this is the ability to run analytics on both the hosts and the guests. So this will actually give you a holistic view to make you understand what days are more busy than others, what type of meetings are going on, which people book most meetings. And then you also have the concept of invites. Now, this is really cool because if let's say you're, you're gathering 15, 20 people, you might be in a scenario where they're all kind of queuing behind one another, trying to put in their details. I mean, sure, you do have a QR code that you can optionally embed in this so people can use their own phones. Uh, but nonetheless, you might actually want them to provide all the information ahead of time. So with invites, what you can do is that you can click how to invite a guest, select your guest type, and copy the email address. Then you go in your email client, it doesn't really matter if you use Outlook, Gmail, anything, and you slot that email in there. And that will allow the system to collect all the emails that do not have the same domain name as yours, because again, probably for internal employees, you do not want them to sign as guests and email them ahead of time. They can go to the questionnaires, they can take their photo, submit all the details the day before, and when they come in, all they need to do is quickly check in. As we actually operate in a lot of territories, uh, it is very important to have language support, and that's something that we have added since we launched the product initially. So now, besides English, you'll be able to have text written in French, Spanish, and Japanese. Now, this was just a quick overview of the platform to give you an idea of the capabilities that you should expect. In um, a follow-up video, I'll just take a tablet and from scratch install guests on it and run you through the options. There are actually quite a few of them, uh, but some of them are really, really cool and kind of hidden out there. So again, very excited to, to see the product shaping up. I remember when we launched it and I can look back and realize how many features and functionalities we have added. And my mission here is to make sure that you get all the information you need when it comes to our products. As usual, any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments below.